In today's episode, I want to introduce you to this unique block that I designed in Tinkercad. It snaps into other blocks so you can make something that pivots, including like tracks for a robot. But what makes it really unique is the corner of one block is exactly one inch away from the corner of the next block. So you can make a measuring device like this. This is a collapsible bass board for measuring fish. So if you catch a fish in a bass tournament, you can determine whether it's a keeper or not. And then you can just roll this guy back up and put it right back in your tackle box. And I'm going to try out this new filament from Fulament and see how well it works. Right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Occasionally, I do get to get away and do some bass fishing tournaments with my sons. And part of the rules is you can't keep a fish for weigh-in unless it's 14 inches or longer. So they do have these boards you can buy and measure the fish. But I wanted one that would fold up that I could keep in my tackle box. So unfold it, measure the fish, fold it back up, put it back in the tackle box when you're done. The challenge was, could I make a snappable block that when put together would be accurate enough to give me exactly 14 inches to measure the fish? Here's the block I created and let me zoom in. You can see two notches, top and bottom. That's actually the measurement marks. In the back here, I've got a little concave hole and that's where the snap goes into. And I got it on both sides. So another one of these blocks will snap right into itself. You can see that this block is exactly one inch from the origin here in Tinkercad. If I duplicate this and move it over one inch, everything should line up. So I'll duplicate it and I'm at a half inch movement. So it's two clicks and we should be lined up. We're at two inches. Duplicate again, three inches. Duplicate again, four inches. But let's make this one hollow here so we can see, do the pins line up? And sure enough, they're spot on. It took a little while to get this all figured out, but it works really, really well. The next step was to actually print these things and make sure that the printer would produce the same results as Tinkercad. I've been getting really good results with this matte black PLA from Fulament. It prints really nice and I love the way it's wound on the spool, very even. Now when I printed the blocks, I printed a bunch of them. And this is at a 0.28 layer height, so it's not optimized for beauty. But it still came out very smooth. Look at these edges, nice and even. And even inside where this thing snaps together, very nice finish. So the next step is to snap some of these together and see how well that works. And it actually worked well. They snap in place but hold really well and can pivot. Put another one on it and just snap it in place. And they work really well. So I snapped a bunch of them together and then laid it against a ruler. So you can see at zero, then one, then two, then three inches, they're all right at the corner of the print. So the further I went down, it stayed right on the inch marker. So it's very accurate. For my bass board design, I did put a number in each block and I modified one with this end cap so the fish head can go against it. And then at the very end, I chopped off the pivot so it's nice and smooth. But you don't have to do all this. You can just mark on it where the 14 inch marker is with a paint pen or something and put together a bass board. I also put some in a track arrangement for a robot. I'm not sure how well that would work. You might have to make them smaller. So that's something I'll have to pursue for a future project. Before I got to the snapped hinge, I did make one with live hinges, so it was printed and you could take it off the bed and flex it. This way I could fit it on a small bed, but it really didn't work out the way I wanted because printing this way, the blocks aren't as strong. The layer lines is such that the way you want to flex it, they tend to want to break. So that's why I print them flat and then snap them together and this seemed to work really, really well. I'm surprised how easy they are to snap together and how hard they are to pull apart. I mean, you can still unsnap them, but you really got to pull it or twist it to get them to unsnap. I printed them flat on the bed at a 0.28 layer height, 25% infill. It took just over an hour to print two of them so I could pop those off, snap them together, and then print more. After printing several sets, snapping them together, I realized it was working perfectly. So I went back and redesigned it with those numbers for my bass board. And using this matte black PLA from Fulament gave me really good results. So I can highly recommend this filament. It's working very, very well for me. This is one of the things I love about 3D printing. You can have an idea, sit down, design it and create it. Even if I could buy this thing, I'd rather just design it this way because then it's the way I like it. I can roll it up, keep it in my tackle box, and not have to carry around that big bass measuring board. So this worked out great for me. 
These work really great to make my bass boards, but I'd love to see what you can do with them. So I'm going to put a link to this file in the description below so you can download it, it's free, and build whatever you want. And if you follow me on Twitter, post a picture of what you did. And as far as this filament, I'm pretty happy with this matte black PLA from Filament. It prints really well. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link to this in the description below. They're not sponsoring this, but they did give me a free spool of filament. They also gave me a free spool of white. I'm not quite as happy with the white as I am this. This is fantastic. The white, I'm still adjusting temperatures and stuff to see if I can get it to print better. White's always a tough color to print, but this matte black PLA, I love it. I'm going to get more for myself. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.